Hi everybody, it's Nadia O and I'm today speaking about my shop moustache and the reason why is because I've had enough I really have, I've had enough of it it's been about three months and I can't take it anymore I am taking out everything and I mean everything so guys this is what I've got in my everyday door that is now coming out um, I think it's been in there long enough Probably one or two that I will keep in Which is the Tarte Reinforced to the Sea Concealer Because I've not used it Because I always go to my Essence Day or Day 16 Hour Concealer And the Maybelline Fit Me I haven't tried these yet So technically I haven't used them in a the video I've always gone back to this one So I am going to A be keeping these in Everything else is coming out. I've tried it, what I wasn't 100% impressed by. So, I'm going to start off with big stuff so I can just get it out of the way. So, this is the Anastasia Contour. Really, really nice. Too big. Too big. I need one shade. I need one shade. So, for contour, to replace this big palette, I am going to put in the Tarte Breeze Contour Bronzer. It's cream bronzer guys, so this is going in instead of this big palette. I seriously don't know where this big palette is going to go, but it's going out of this drawer. It's a cheeky sweet spot from Benefit. I've loved this, I've loved this with a passion, I've used all of it, but I think I'm going to swap it out and I'm going to be putting in the this is the Tarte like clutch bag again it's not coming out of the box guys because I'm just not that type of person I like boxes so now I think it's wise to say we've got a few winter colours and bronzer but I think these two definitely will, be, will sum up winter for me so I'm having this one in and I think I'm also going to go in with a cream one and I'm going to put in my Steeler Sweets but I've used this today I like it I want to try it out more to see whether or not it's what needs to stay in my collection the Clarins bronzer I really like this guys I, I did this was nice bronzer it's beautiful it's got the nice 24 orange orange pink looks nice on me when it's got the extra bit really nice keeping that this is the Revolution Contour and Glow. Again, this is one that you'll have seen in videos. And yes, I'm keeping it. I love these two. And I love this highlighter and this I just love it all. So it's staying in my collection. But like I say, I need to find a where do you put these products that got multi-purpose products in. The Hourglass brush Blushers. Staying in its box. I do like it. But I am going to put in the the e.l.f. bronze palette, but uh, sorry, blush palette. It's quite dark, but for for fall, this will be perfect for the next three months, because that's how long they last me before I start using them all. So this is definitely going in as another lot of blush. Now winter's coming up. I don't need powders in my collection so they are just going out <laughs> I like them don't get me wrong I do like them but I don't need powders I can use ordinary foundations without worrying of too much about it staying on my skin this Anastasia powder guys I really don't like really don't like it and I'm sorry it's cost me a lot of money no, I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just taking it out of this collection. But I really wish I never bought it. Don't know where it's going to go. We'll see. I might eventually down the line get rid of it. But I don't need it in my collection. That's the powders. I don't know what powders I'm putting in. I haven't decided. So I put in the MAC one. And I'm taking this one out. And it's going up there. And I'm going to put in the cheerleading one. Because I like both of them and they both give me bronzer blusher and I think this is a highlighter. 
I'm not too sure. Oh, it's no, it's a blusher. Same sort of deal. So I'm going to start using this one. I haven't decided for powders yet. I'll get round to that in a minute. For highlighters, the tart one. Ah, I, I do love love this tart one. I have got a highlighter here, but I had one in the matte one, so I'm going to put this one back. And this time, <laughs> by Maureen. So I'm putting the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero one. It's been re-released. I had the first batch, so I'm going to put this in and use this one. So that's one. And then I'm going to put in. I've decided to like a mixture of drugstore and high end. So I'm putting in the sleek, and this is the solstress one. So it's got cream. It's got purple. It's, I, I just love this one. So I'm going to put this in. And then the next one that I'm putting in is the tart one. I am not putting in a loose one. I don't know why. I don't think I've got any more loose ones to be honest with you. But I want to try this one a little bit more. I know I like Sleek. I know I like Anastasia's. Eyebrows. I put in the Kevin Nicorne. I do not like this. I was going to say hate it with a passion. don't like it. I'm not going to use it, but I'm not getting rid of it. But I just don't want to feel like I have to get rid of something just yet in case. I've also mentioned that I do give a lot to uh, a youth charity and they deal from, I want to say about 5 to 18. They put on plays. I really do like the Anastasia highlighter in Snowflake. Tells you how often I used it. But I also like the number seven one. So both of these stay in my collection. I am going to keep this elf. This is more of a it's not dewy. It's got a little bit of glitter in. But this one is definitely staying in my collection. So I am going to put this in. This is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. But this will be used on light foundations, not on heavy foundations. So when I want to bring something to you guys that's light, this will give me a little colour. So I still need to find a powder one. And I honestly haven't found one that I like enough to turn around to you guys and go, that's it. This says my skin yellow. So it's going out my stash. But I need, I really do need to find one that I actually like and going to use. To be honest with you, I'm just taking it out. I don't see the point in keeping it in this collection for the sake of keeping it in this collection. The Anastasia foundation. Do not like. Do not pass go. But, but, now I've got the N20 um, cover FX drops. I might give them a go. If I don't like it, I really don't like it, then... It'll probably go in my empties and just passed on. I'm not one for selling things on to Depot. I was going to. I never do. I might as well just give them to the community. These are definitely going into my everyday one. Because I know for a fact that there's foundations that I've got that I really like. That are slightly too light. This is the Avident Primer. Not that keen on it. Don't know what primer I'm putting in. When I do, I might just show you when I put them all in my drawer and go, this is the primer that I'm now putting in. The Aviant one, I know I don't want in there anymore. I am going to be putting the Neat 3B Face Saver Gel. And the, but this is going in my everyday basket. So everyday stuff is still staying, guys. I want to us this is one powder, another powder. This is the e.l.f. light dewy one. Turn up the light, born this way. That's definitely 100% going in there. And this is my first palette that I'm 100% pulling in my palettes that I'm keeping out. So this is the natural nudes. And I know I'm keeping this out because I know I like it. The e.l.f. bite size shadows as one. And I'm just going to put these in a drawer. And if I need to mix match, I can do. 
So I'm going to put in the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate to use. I'm also going to be putting in Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in there as well. So I've got a high in the drugstore that I can go to if I haven't got any for a video. And I'm also going to put in the Revlon Candid. Um, I can't remember how I felt about this. I just want to... Oh, that's quite a bit of coverage. I think that's... Three foundations is plenty. I've got more stuff that I would love to stick in an everyday drawer. Actually, and I'm for powder, uh, everyday powder, I'm going to try the Revlon new Photo Ready Candid Primer. And also the Revlon Candid Concealer. And I'm going to take out the Maybelline Fit Me. Instead of having the Maybelline Fit Me in there, I'm going to put the Candid products in there. And see if I get on with them. So another one that I know that I definitely 100% want to put as an eyeshadow palette. And this is the Book of Magic. And this is what it looks like, guys. I love it. I do. This is what I can come with just rare, just one colour washers. But it's got a lot of colours in. I am keeping the 5P from Morphe. This is a really nice palette. This part. The two sides of it. Take out the middle. And I'm happy. So, but I'm happy that I know I can go. I want a purple palette. Just pick up Morphe's. Not everybody's impressed with Morphe. I don't like some of the shadows that are in there. There's a lot of repetitive ones. But I don't want to get rid of it. This is the Urban Decay. The Oz. The Great and Powerful. I used this in the tutorial way back. I'm keeping this palette. And I'm not really funny. <laughs> what I didn't realise is. I've used it a few times. These eyeshadows come out. And I've actually got a single eyeshadow from Urban Decay so technically if I wanted this just the wash colour and I was going away not that I'm going away anyway but this way what came into my mind I'm keeping it it's gorgeous no it's old and I didn't use the lip pencil on it guys the one that I am honestly getting rid of and people will understand why I I tried with this one guys um again this will probably go to the youth center it's not for me it's not something i could pick up a go oh, i just chuck that on my eyes because I don't even like the formula ideal palette for a child not me adult so this would definitely be going somewhere for palettes this is my palette from morphe this is the colours that I picked and what I'm going to do is, is try and use them but as I use them is I'm going to put them in a different section if I don't like them then say the bottom section is going to be the ones I like or don't like should I say and the top sections are going to be the ones that I like and then I've got a nice palette because I'm also going to be putting in this palette. And this is a jumble of whatevers. And I know I can come when I'm doing different things. And I can come with this. And it is just going to stand on this side. It's not going in my normal palettes. And I'm just going to grab them. So I've got a nice blush shade. Highlight shade. I've got grey, silver, black. I've got a lot of browns. But again what i find redundant is coming out and i've got palettes that i can put these in so again this is the same so these three palettes are what i want to really concentrate on and see whether or not i like the formulas i like the colors everything i've got blusher bronzer so these are staying so i'm not technically putting more for you but i am these three palettes, this one, so it's a lot of palettes but not technically because I've got a variety of things. I'm not going into single eyeshadows this time, these two are coming out. 
I'm, still, I'm keeping these. These are staying in my collection, 100%. Love them. But because I've got enough eyeshadows here, I don't need to. I don't need to try any more. And if there's anything that's sticking, I'm not sticking in lipstick. It's lipstick, I'm not sticking in any primers because I want to try out new ones. I just need to try out new ones for the things that I haven't put in here because I don't know anymore. I did say that if I find what I wanted to put in as primers and powders, I would do. So this is the City Kiko City Filter. There you go guys, that's what it looks like. So that's going to stay in there. I've also got the Miss Beauty face powder and a collection one. I want to try it under my eyes for the collection and I want to try this one as an all over face powder and see whether or not I like them. So this basket is going in here. Guys, that I've put in the RCMA powder as well. There's a few powders, oh, and also the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. So I'm putting all the powders in here, because I know, I can, I can see. We've got the Revlon candy. But I want to try some powders out, and that is the reason why we've got so many. And then here are the rest of the products that I'll be putting in. Bite side, bite size eyeshadows. My cover FX is going to go in with my everyday because I'll probably be using that every single day. And then these foundations, Charlotte Tilbury Conceal, Revolution, and then my two, and my contour, my baby contour. I put them down because they'll roll about a bit. So guys, so that's, that's what it looks like. That's the back of the drawer. And then we come forward. And we've got everything there. Should be different angle. And now we can just come in this drawer and there's everything that I need. 